That doesn't look good now. <laughs> oh yeah. Can we make the wood skate? The sled? The toy sled up? The toy sled up. Has failed us. Is uh, non-Sleta. Toy Sleta 3.0 failed us. We're gonna be here all night. So we made it another kilometer. I told you we're making 10 sleds to get out of here. After several hours of ferry delays, I'm making my way to Nanaimo where I'm meeting up with Colin and Malcolm for some serious island exploration and off-roading. It's one of those famous influencers. Hey, it's Captain Colin. What's going on, guys? Well, here's Malcolm from Crimson Off-Road. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Yeah, so we're actually talking while waiting for it. We're going to set up here tonight. <laughs> well, we are in a bay at least, you yeah, know? Yeah, we are. <laughs> dusty out here. We're just trying to find a place to camp yeah, before dark that. and then we're gonna continue on to our first exploration area tomorrow. Looks like we're just following a trail under some power lines right now. I'm trying to get down to a river. What are you doing? Collecting wood? I'm gonna drag some wood down to the campsite. Yeah, my dude. I don't know what's down there. That is so easy. Easy. Oh, in your truck. <laughs> <laughs> you want us to scratch one on the other side? Just a little be uh, like racing stripes. Okay, we're good to go. Some water. so much fun. It's been a while since I wheeled some nice tight trails. As it got darker, we were a bit lost, and then we ran into an obstacle. What's up with the blocks? I don't know, man. Vancouver Island. So that's about still two, three feet in the ground, so I'm gonna try to winch it up. You sure it's not private? No, there'd be a sign for that. <laughs> like cement blocks? It's okay, Americans, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> We're not gonna get shot. This is Canada. All good. It's good. Steel cable, gnarly. <laughs> Pulling a cement block. I don't wanna be anywhere near that. Nope. That's so gnarly. Safety note, steel cable is dangerous. This line should really be dampened with something in case it snaps. I'm opting for the stand way back approach. That's not coming out, dude. I, there was a quad that drove by on the lower road, so maybe there is another road on the map. Maybe this isn't the main way in. Hey, hold on. So we have to back up all of that, or turn around in the stitch, and then take the road we, we're not on to the campsite. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> We've got our uh, first casualty in the mud here, trying to get turned around on this dead end road. Bronco handled it. No problem. The truck's a little bit longer, so he had to back up further. Now his rear tires are about half buried in a mud hole. Welcome to Island Life. Hey man, I love this stuff. There's no way you're getting out of that without a pull. Just winch it out before something gets worse. Just digging a hole. It's not too bad. <laughs> you know, only almost tire deep. It's been worse. 
Because I don't want to get pulled like that. I want to just get pulled out and then I can keep doing like a hundred point turn. I think you're good from there. You might have to back up once more to get on the road. That's how I like starting my three day trips. What about you guys? Oh, this is super tight. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that doesn't work. Yeah. No, let's, just go back. let's just go back to that spot that was big enough for us to camp at, and, yeah, set up and, set. and we'll, you know, get going in the morning. Exactly. It wasn't the best spot we've ever camped, but it would do for this night when we were already tired. Morning, Cap. What's going on, Sean? Uh, it was cold last night. Why, yeah, why was it, it so it, cold? The global cooling? Yeah, global cooling. Well, the plan is we're gonna go hit a track and then hopefully that'll lead us to a secret waterfall. All right, we acquired some barbecue meat. Now we'll make our way to the trailhead. I've been wanting to explore this area more for a couple of years, and with a bit of an early summer this year, it's provided the perfect opportunity to get up higher into the mountains of Vancouver Island. The trail we're headed for today is supposed to be pretty rough with some serious rock crawling before we get to our destination. stitches on this steep climb up the mountain. Like, a while since I've wheeled the Bronco and one of the things that I forgot was just how smooth it is on the trail. It was making for a pretty comfortable ride. A ways up the trail we arrived at the first rocky section and Malcolm decided he'd go ahead first in his heavily modified GMC Canyon. Passenger, passenger, passenger. Okay, you're good. on that line. You good? Straighten out. Yeah. Now now passenger.
That's the wrong way. You're supposed to go up. <laughs> Time to buy a gladiator, eh? It is. Don't tempt them. You gonna be a wuss? Because I don't feel like rolling a truck. You wanna try once more? They're a bad influence. I am, but everyone knows third time is the charm, right? I think around. you're bypassing it. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. You were like almost there. <laughs> there. Right. So he's going around a bypass. He's gonna meet us up here, and then we're gonna continue on the trail. The mosquitoes out here are terrible. That doesn't look good, man. I'll never financially recover from this. Can you drive down backwards and get back on the road? All the way. We'll have to use the high lift and keep push pushing. it back in. But yeah, it's doable. Might take some time. <laughs> Am I going to make it to the falls? I highly doubt it. I knew that giant snap was a bad sound. Yeah, I didn't really like it either. Now we know. This is like the gnarliest place to high lift. <laughs> I know. Like, these don't really work that well on flat ground. <laughs> We're farming. Here we have Colin's tool kit. Here, Colin, I'll pass you the... Oh, I can't pass him the, button pass like the adjustable wrench. Pass you the wrench. Though. Oh, thanks, bud. <laughs> oh my god. Do you have a high lift? No. <laughs> See What's the issue here? Oh yeah. Oh, it's fine. Just put it back in. Okay. Can we weld that? So it's it was just the shaft. So I didn't blow up my rear end. Yeah. Well, kind of. Okay, I'll just drive it down the hill like this. Yeah. We could like strap a log underneath. Yeah, I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> yeah, me too. You don't carry spare axles like me? <laughs> Apparently I have to. Oh, I just went right back in, it's fixed. That was easy. Yeah, just grab a ratchet strap and tie it off to the frame, where you go. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that earlier? Well, that's the It's gonna what? come out as soon as you start driving and then your axle's gonna be on the ground. Skate? Should we make the wood skate? The sled? The sled. The toy sledder? We might need to do the sled. We need to oh, find yeah. a tree that has a U and we're gonna cut the tree and then put that as a sled underneath the rear axle, like on the leaf perch. We're making a toy sledder. Toy sledder! Toy sledder! A, a U, like a tree that's shaped like a U. Where are we gonna find trees around here? I don't know, man. Oh yeah, oh, yeah she's good. mint. Dude, that thing slides so good. We knew exactly what had to be done. There was only one way out of this. Does work in theory. We need a better tree. This, we need a better tree. Yeah. If we had a better tree, we'd be gold. All right. Okay. 
Okay, so let's toy sledder. The toy sledder's done. Percentage of success on this. Hold on. I'd say if it's gonna fall off, this will be where it falls off. The first hundred feet. It's gonna go over that little bump or something and yeah. it'll rip right off. I don't like your attitude. I mean, this is gonna work for sure. It's gonna work. We actually had no idea how this would go, and being on a very rough trail and in reverse, but hey, let's try it for science. could pull over to here a bit and then we run a winch with a snatch block to your rear and we winch you backwards and then and then once you're over the hump maybe you'll be okay what do you think I like that plan okay all right so we're gonna winch from my truck to snatch block over there to the back of Colin's truck to help the toy sledda sled past this big rock toy sledda saving the day Make some modifications to the toy sledder. So the sled can slide out from under the axle. We haven't made it very far. So far. The bigger notches, smoother ramp. That's the plan. I mean, I feel like 3.0 is a lot more well thought out. It's got a lot more experience behind it, a lot more trial and error. So we've done the testing and now it's time to go to production, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it's ready. I just needed another donut and he's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's way We all have our ways of recharging, okay? Don't make fun of me just because mine is donuts. About three hours into this, we had barely moved. Is that going to be a good notch or no? Uh, we've been out here for like, I don't know. Two or three hours now. Feels like two or three days. Feels like two or three days. Uh, making very little progress. I think we've gotten, what, like uh, 50 feet, 100 yeah, feet? Yeah, but we're, we're arts and crafts time. <laughs> it looks good now, right? It looks What could go wrong? Mint. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? It looked good last time too. some progress. Kind of. Hard passenger! He just 
needed a little assistance from my winch. Yeah, winch. Almost there. Winch in. Winch in. Winch in. Hold up. Yeah. Okay, hold up. Toy sled of the number one sled of gear. Toy sled of the number one sled of gear. Toy sled of. Dude, I mean, good work, dude. Sled Yoda. I figured once we started dragging the toy sled up forwards, things would get easier. Yeah, However, what happened? The front ratchet strap broke off because there's too much torque now. So the new plan is to put three ratchet straps on the front side. To hold the front up. Yeah, otherwise it'll just keep breaking. But hey, they should hire me to grade the roads. We're good until you hit this thing. We were so close. At least the sun's out. Someone's gonna come up here and is like, gonna wonder what the hell happened here. <laughs> Haven't you heard of tread lightly, bro? <laughs> hey, what's that mean? Have we reached the stage of despair yet? Mm, not yet. Not yet? One okay. of the straps holding the sled on snapped when I was dragging the sled forward. I'm trying to find a solution. You okay? It's turning into a long day. <laughs> just a little bit over there. Okay, so plan of attack, guys. Uh, we'll just drive it down. We'll drive it down. How's the sled looking? Solid. Slugging. Look at that. Rock solid. We got about eight wraps on there. Finally, it was happening the way we planned. I love it when a good plan comes together. Stuck in this one? I wouldn't say I'm stuck, I just don't have any traction because I'm three wheeling. Sledda has failed us. It's a uh, non sledda <laughs> It's a non sledda <laughs> All the straps broke? All the straps broke. You see, funny thing with wood, 
instead of saying solid while you run it down a dirt road. Oh, we forgot to install the skid plates. Ah, uh, uh, our sled broke. Not good. What's uh? Do we have a do we have a game plan? Our uh, game plan is to use the chain, and he's making another sled. I just have to get this jacked up again. Okay. She's not looking good. That is uh. What? Not a sled. It's a little more HD. Robust. It's got some good rings on it. I, I kind of like that. Girth. Yeah. We have a rescue operation on the way. They're bringing us ratchet straps, a high lift, four other types of jacks, and two heavy duty ratchet straps. Oh my god. Sounds like a truck. Things are happening. That's our parts. We got new straps coming for the new Toy Sleda version three. I'm pretty stoked about this. Toy Sleda on three. One, two, three. Toy Sleda! Well, you see, it's a constant theme in my videos. Gladiators always have to rescue me, even though Sean's got his Bronco this episode. Yeah. Well, maybe you should think about getting a Gladiator. Uh, actually, we were in the talks of that. I will be I think I've contacting to White Rock Dodge <laughs> on Monday. So, Sean. Uh, Hi, Sean. Nice hey. to meet you. Nice Tom. To meet you. I like your Gladiator. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. We like, hey, we like your show. Nice to meet you. Are these sled rated? I think these are the... They are sled rated. <laughs> these we're through these. Rated are the right for... straps. That's, oh. that's the one we used to get here. Here. Yeah, that's at the trailhead up ahead. Good job, though. <laughs> we were almost at the part where you had to winch up. You got any uh, premonitions? Premonitions? Yeah, we're going to get the hell out of here. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, I mean, it looks pretty safe to me. I have a lot of fun. How about you guys? <laughs> I think the log broke again. Yeah, yeah, well, I saw that happen. Yeah, yeah I, fair enough. Someone said he was a red seal oh, car. Come. Toy Sleda 3.0 failed us. It's broken. We're going to be here all night. We were really starting to get tired, and no one was excited about this anymore. I sheared my axle shaft, so it's a semi-float axle, so it, there's no way to mount a tire on the one side. So we're, we're continuously making wooden sleds to get myself down to the road. So we made it another kilometer, basically. Pretty much. Yeah, but that, I, I had no high expectations I told of that you, sled. I told you we were making 10 sleds to get out of here. Was that a kilometer? Yeah. Oh, 10 more. The next sled didn't even make it a kilometer. I think the straps are broken. Four point oh down. One strappy boy down, one about to break. There's a flat spot right there. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think I think it's it, there. it's time to. I I need to sleep. I'm gonna die. Need to sit down and there's a full moon coming up right there. I know it's gonna be a pretty cool view. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, I don't, I don't like to sleep on an angle like this. So you're Mark, gonna, you're gonna high lift it level. That seems sketchy. Sean, <laughs> I like it. Come on, man. <laughs> it's how I roll all the time. I have to use all the dangerous things. Safety second. So our um, our fourth version of the toy Sleda has failed. So now we're camping on the trail because we're tired and uh, tomorrow we'll figure out what's next. Good morning guys, just woke up. We're still on the middle of the trail. Unfortunately, I mean, we're on Toy Sled of Five. Failed again. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. 
Good morning, Colin. Good morning, Sean. I hear you have good news. I do have good news. You're underexposed. That's the bad news. Oh, that is bad news. Okay, you're good. All right, so the good news is I made a post on the local Toyota page, and someone did respond that they have the axle shaft I need for this truck, and they are willing to deliver it. Wait, not a sled? No, we're, we're, we're done with sleds. We, we, we might build a couple more. <laughs> we're done with them. The toy sled is done, but we, we still have to build 0.5 and... Well, we are 5.5? 5.5 and then 6.5. We gotta do two more sleds still? Possible. We'll just make them just in case. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So they're gonna deliver the axle shaft right here on this mountainside. That is very good service. It is amazing service. Yeah. When this truck actually isn't broken, it's actually a pretty cool truck. Um, what is this, Colin? It's a Land Cruiser. It's a 1989 Toyota Land Cruiser 60 series that I got a local company to turn into a flatbed pickup. It only comes in as a SUV type vehicle. Yeah. So they put the custom. Sled option. The sled option was optional. That was definitely custom. At owner's expense. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, got a six inch lift. I have it on 35s. I mean, the 35s missing here. We have that amazing sled. It has a 12 HT motor, which is a inline six turbo diesel from factory in 89. So there's no emissions, no belts or timing chain. It's all mechanically inject. So if you guys want to check out more about Colin's truck, I'll put the link to his rev kit in the description. If you guys haven't used rev kit before, it's this cool app where you can add your vehicles to a garage and list all your parts, you know, find inspiration for your build and whatnot. Pretty cool app. I've got uh, the trail destroyer and uh, soccer mom here on there as well. <laughs> yes, it's called soccer mom. Okay. I'll put links to that down in the description as well. So GMC Canyon, a little bit of a different build. I really like what you've done with the rooftop tent. Talk about that. You've got this uh, tonneau cover that uh, kind of opens up with your iCamper Skycam Mini on top. Yeah, so I had a, I had one that closed before and you can never get to the front of the box to like grab stuff in here. Yeah. So it was a pain. So I found one that you can lift up so you can get like everything in there now. Awesome. I like that setup a lot. You got this on rev kit? I do, yeah. Rev kit link in the description. All right, so new plan. We've got metal. Metal roofing. For Toy Sleda 5.0? 5.0. 5.0. I got high hopes for 5.0. Look at that sled. There's no way this can fail. Other end? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> right after you say that. You gotta pick this up though, you can't leave it on the trail. Yeah, don't leave your slides on the trail. No! This idea might not have been so well thought out. It's fine. Yeah, but it's put fine. it back underneath and away you go. <laughs> well, that did work well. We still have the front, or is it all gone? Haven't looked. There's still a piece under the front. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. They'll save that for later. There she goes. Point sled of five. The ultimate sled up. We had a uh, distance record so far. <laughs> it was the this, worst one yet. This was the worst sled we've made yet. We're going backwards here. Let's go back to going in reverse. It seemed to work better. It did. I thought you were an engineer. Unbelievable. Yeah, you have your red seal and carpentry, Malcolm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's, yeah. 
You're never going to be the second ginger at this rate. <laughs> I'm not an engineer. <laughs> this is where we say goodbye for a few hours, Sean. We've decided to just abandon Colin here because yeah. the toy sled sucks. <laughs> <laughs> <You've had enough. laughs> no, he's going to get some uh, some parts that are on the way up here. So he's got additional help coming. He's going to fix that and then meet us at camp so we can uh, continue on on this adventure. Exactly. Exactly. Am I happy about it? Yes. I think it's the metal roofing did it. That's yeah. why it didn't work. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Well, I thought that was going to be it. That I, was going to be money. I had some high hopes for that one. So, Malcolm and I headed onward to the falls. With plenty of parts and help on the way for Colin, we figured he wouldn't be far behind. I've been here once before, a couple of years ago, but it was pouring rain in the winter, and we tried to take the trail wrecker, my old gladiator, across a raging river, and we almost lost her. But today, I'm getting my revenge, hopefully. Just thick, thick forest through here. See the river, though. It can't be that far. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll find out if this paint protection film works. River crossing at this time of year was no problem at all. And finally, I get to camp at this waterfall that I've been wanting to check out for a couple of years. All right guys, we finally made it. Beautiful riverside spot. There's an awesome waterfall over there. I'm gonna go check that out. Finally, we can relax. <laughs> what Malcolm is doing, that's hilarious. <laughs> Tent looks level, man. I think you got her. What can I say? <laughs> You've done it a few times. You're a professional. You made it! A couple of hours later, Colin showed up with four wheels to boot. The drone calling. <laughs> yeah! The you did it! I did it! Toy Slater! Making the day. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> what a gong show of a day that was. But you made it. We're just starting the steaks, man. Oh, it's perfect timing. We gotta get the other steak yeah, on there. What are you making, Paul? We're making campfire bacon cubes.
Good morning, everyone. Finally had a decent camp night on this trip. <laughs> Every night was decent. Every night was decent. That is true. One without major mechanical drama, I guess. Yeah. If you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, about 60% of people who watch the videos aren't subscribed. We're trying to get to around 300,000 subscribers this year. We'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Also, you're gonna to wanna to check out Captain Collins channel, Overlanding Overland, for uh, another interesting take on this trip. Malcolm has a channel as well, Crimson Off-Road. Check that out, small channel, but growing, coming up, up and coming. Coming, yeah. Coming together. Yeah. <laughs> so after a pretty eventful weekend, we started heading home, but not without some more crazy memories to add to the books. And I'm sure the comments will be full of what we should or shouldn't have done in this situation and all the things we did wrong, and I'm here for it. At the end of the day, we still had a great time together, and that's all that really matters. A great adventure, and I'll see you next week. Yeah.